Hi there, I'm Jeanette Lane. Welcome to the Craft Stash live broadcast. We are so excited for today's show because we have a special guest, Katie Skilton of Sizzix. Hi, oh, Katie. Hi. So happy to have you. Love oh my, you. oh my goodness, we're we're so excited for your demonstrations. Yeah. Lots, yeah, of lots of demonstrations. Yes, and there's also going to be giveaways, and we're going to be showing you some Sizzix Chapter One and Chapter Two uh, designs that are adorable and lots of inspiration. So we cannot wait. But before we move on, we would just like uh, you to, if you could please, please tag and share uh, share this broadcast with your friends and in your craft groups if you're allowed. Um, also, so that your friends who cannot watch live can catch the replay because there's a chance for them to win as well. Um, we've got prizes, uh, demonstrations, and I'm going to check to make sure that the broadcast is streaming and that you can hear us and that everything is going well. And in the meantime, Katie can tell us a little bit more. Yeah. Tell us more about yourself. Okay, so I'm a creative designer at Sizzix, where I have been for uh, well, three years, but I've actually been working for Sizzix freelance um, for about seven years now, so quite a oh, long nice. time. Um, so basically, I design product, um, projects, you know, work with um, t doing TV and Facebook Live, you know, blog content, work with all these amazing dyes to create what, what we bring to you all the time. Um, I've been crafting for about 19 years, mind you. I've been, awesome. Um, since my eldest daughter was born, um, but I've been lucky enough to take it into a job, which I absolutely love. And what's your favourite thing to make? Like, is it cards? Is oh, it at the moment, I go places. At the moment, I love journals. I love any type of album yeah. journals. I've always been a bit of a stationary addict. So anything, I collect, you know, I'm one of these people who collect notebooks and then um, <laughs> you don't actually use them because they're too nice? No. No. So I'm one of those. So no, <laughs> yeah. I make my so I love journaling, bullet journaling, albums, planning, memory keeping. But I do still like making cards as well. Yes. And then with like Sizzix dies and, you know, like stamps and stuff, you can do... You can do all that. You There's so much cards and thing. and also home decor projects yes, as well. Yes, love home decor. Like you have all these yeah. beautiful samples. And I think this. sometimes that's the challenge, isn't it? You get one die set. So like, what can I do with this? So it's seeing that you can make all those cards. You can make the albums. You can make the scrapbooks. You can do your home decor. You know, you can do fashion with them if you're using the big dies. Yes. Um, so yeah, I just I just like making to be honest. Amazing, and there's lots of people tuning in. I wanted to say hello to some some of the viewers watching us. So I'm checking on, there we go, Facebook. So we have Sue Lloyd, Aisha Weatherly, Shirley Clark, uh, Nikki Weaving uh, is watching from Malta, oh, nice. Shelly Yalden, Yvette Watson, Frosso Stefa is uh, watching from Athens, Greece. Oh. Nice, <laughs> Heather Langstaff says that she's making a Sizzix journal at the moment too, Katie. Ooh. Oh, Heather was watching my Facebook Live the other day and she was going to make a journal I was making. I wonder if it's the same one. Oh, tell us, let us know, <laughs> Heather, if it's the same one. <laughs> Paula Smith, Tracy Arnold, Jules Gordon, uh, Wendy Class. I'm so sorry if I misspelled, I'm misspelled, <laughs> mispronounced your name. Uh, Rosalie Davila, Jeanette Harries, Ma Mary Dietrich, Pamela Stubbs. Jane Fist says, hi, Katie. Hi. Heather Langstaff says, yes, it was me. So it was. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Same <laughs> one. <laughs> Susan Sheltrum. Oh, my goodness. So many people watching. So happy to have you. Stay tuned because you're not going to want to miss those demonstrations that Katie's going to be doing. But we also have lots of prizes, which I don't think I told you about the prize. No, I don't even know. <laughs> this is so we have surprise. three uh, die bundles up for grabs valued at 100 pounds. So three winners will win bendo of dies exciting and then also we're giving away a Sizzix big shot which is over there in that corner up <laughs> so it's the Sizzix big shot and it comes with the tool caddy and the precision base plate so that is up for grabs and I'll tell you all the details on how to enter that giveaway in just a bit so let's get started on showing some of these dies and also the inspiration because it's gorgeous yes so let's start with um, yeah, you can switch over to this camera and we can start with the, um, these little domes. So Tell us yes, about so the these. Domes are a release that we brought out. We've got lots of dies that go with them. So you get your little plastic, um, plastic domes. So they come in a pack. I can't actually remember how many of these probably says on the front of the pack. Um, 
Oh, it's 12. 12. Oh, yeah. 12 domes in a pack, so that's giving you, you know, 12 colours. And then we've designed lots of different die sets. So there's some Tim Holtz die sets that go with these. There's some standard Sizzix die sets. And there's little mini things that they fit in these domes. So if you're making projects where you like shaker cards, you can add your glitter inside, you can add little beads inside and have them shake. Each die set comes with a circle that fits exactly to fit yeah. the dome inside, you know, because obviously you need the circle to fit the dome in. So every die set that we do, you get the little circle that you cut out from your card and then you place the domes through. Now the domes are actually self adhesive as well, so when you stick them down onto your card, if you are doing shaker cards and things, you haven't got to worry about filling, kind of going all around the edge, because actually they're self adhesive. They are just really, really yeah. good fun. There's that one actually as well that I'm going to do. Yeah. I, I just love them. I just think it's something a little bit different. You could even add sweets into them if you want to. Oh, yeah, what a great idea. Oh, this is so cute. This New York one. That's really cute, isn't it? So that's with the um, the Tim Holtz Travel the Globe yes. die set. And then the little um, smaller insects that you can see, that's the tiny nature. So that's just an example of a couple of the die sets we do that you can use with these domes. And of course, you've probably got other dyes as well at home, you know, mini flowers, yes, well, you could fit is. into them. Yeah, and good news, there is a Sizzix sale on the Craft Stash website where you can get up to 25% off of Sizzix. So head over there and maybe you can use, find some of these tiny little dyes that will fit in these little domes, which are amazing. And the prices start at $4.49 and those special prices expire on May 31st. So make sure to head over there Get your domes, they're so cute. Yes. I cannot get over it. Okay, and then we have some more dies. This is the so this wreath. Is the floral wreath. I think this is so, so pretty, this one. So everything you see on that card, you get in that wreath set. You can see there, so you get the actual wreath, you get the flowers, the leaves that go with it. So obviously you can use all these elements separately if you want to, or you can use them together. But I think this is an all round, all year round kind of die set because can you imagine that in reds and greens for Christmas as well? Yeah. You know, at the moment we're doing very summer, obviously we're thinking about summer, um, but I think all year round you could make that into a beautiful in your art, um, your art journals, your scrapbooks. Obviously I didn't your even think of that. To... That's such a great idea. Absolutely. And of course I have to knock it over. I always knock things over. And then this one is... Um, so this is our embossing, embossing folder. And um, this is a 3D embossing folder. So this is Elegant. This is by Tim Holtz. Mmm, gorgeous. Um, 3D embossing folder, it gives you that extra dimension. So basically, it doesn't just emboss a normal embossing folder. You've got your flat piece of card and then it embosses it a little bit. This is embossed it in all different levels. So it gives it that real 3D look. Um, and for your best results with these, you're better to spritz the card stock with a little bit of water first and then run it through. And it just softens the fibres of the paper and it allows it to give it that really deep embossed look. And um, there's a few behind us actually as well that we've um, Gorgeous. Done and these are um, Sizzix Chapter 1 and Chapter, chapter two, 2 designs. Yes. So you can see those on the Craft Stash website. This one is really fun. I want to show. This is great. So this is the um, Retro Camera Folds Along by Jen Long, who used to be my boss at Sizzix. Hi, Jen. You probably oh. will never see this, but I miss you. Yes. <laughs> She's um, so lovely. Jen's got a range of fold along cards, and they will open up in this in this way. So we've got the retro camera. I think this is great for scrapbooks, right onto a scrapbook page, and then it opens up with your journal inside. Oh, that'd be so cute. They are, it's really cute, but obviously you can leave it flat as well. So if you just want the camera, Oh, sorry. I think we might have to switch it to the to the Yeah, if you just want a camera rather than it opening up, you can also do that. Well, I like this. It's funky. It is. I love the colors. And it's perfect for summer. The whole theme of this yes, we're, this we're show is like summer, summer memories, and because it's coming. It is coming. Summer's well, coming. I've got some memories afterwards. <laughs> we will. It's going to be cool. <laughs> definitely. How where do I put this? Oh, okay. And then, um, is there more inspiration on that, that So we side? have got, what have we got? Oh, this one, this is a stencil from, um, Ooh. so this is the flowers from one of the wreath dies, but it just shows yeah. you, you can use it as a stencil as well. So don't throw away your negatives. You know when you die cut, you've got that negative yes. left, ink through them. It's a little, what would you use to, what would you put in here? So it's like a little, like a, yeah. yeah. Or you could put your we'll make a bag. Craft, um, little craft items in there. You could have your scissors in there. That literally looks like it's printed fabric, like you bought that fabric. Like, yeah, do know, you know what it I mean? It really does, doesn't it? I know. <laughs> and then there's lots of little journals. So cute. And this is using some of the, the same floral dye that we showed earlier, the floral wreath. Yeah. So nice. 
such a versatile set. Oh, here's this one, which um, oh, is Tiny Nature. Tiny Nature. So that's mm -hmm. lovely. I, I love that one, actually. I did a picture frame with that, and it comes out beautifully. Oh, is that the one being yeah. over there? Yeah, yeah. It's behind but us. I can also imagine this done in quite old colours, in like a journal. You know when you get your own fashion journals, you do it in all the browns and the sepia colours? Yeah. I think that would look really nice in that as well. That would look lovely, absolutely lovely. And then we have this one, which um, I wanted to show, because this one's yeah, really fun. Cool. So that's the succulent wreath, that's using the succulent wreath um, set, which again is a lovely set and you can really change it, you can do it all in greens and make it look succulent, or you can do it in colours and instantly then it looks like flowers as well. Yes, gorgeous, gorgeous, so gorgeous. We've got, we've got this, our sloth here, that I know oh, yeah. on your yeah, we've, chapter two one. We've seen that one previously. You do love your journals, I'm yes. loving this, so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> and again, actually, this is lovely, this box, but this is a mix of flowers. So this is from our uh, floral wreath and from the succulents. And they've all been stuck into a box. And that's just a couple of tones. So that's, you know, sometimes you don't have to use lots of colours. Just a couple no. of tones and it really sets it off. Gorgeous. Amazing. I'm loving all this inspiration and all these dyes. There's so many, so many beautiful designs. Make sure you check out the Sizzix sale on the Craft Stash website because... There's some amazing discounts. Now, I want to jump into the demonstrations because we have three planned. Yes. Ambitious. Yep. <laughs> and we want to get, we want to make sure that we give Katie enough time to do her demonstration. So we're going to switch over to that. But before we demo, we wanted to announce how to enter the giveaway. So the three die bundles that are up for grabs, we're going to give those on air. We're going to announce the winners at the end of the broadcast. And to enter that giveaway, all you have to do is answer the question, which of the dies or the designs that you saw today is one that you want in your stash and what would you make with it? So you can answer that question. And then for the Sizzix Big Shot that's up for grabs, you can head to our blog, the Craft Stash blog, and enter the giveaway there. And that is open uh, up until Sunday midnight. So good luck, we have our fingers crossed for you. Can't wait, and we can kind of <laughs> need to move some of this stuff aside so that you can. We've got a craft exchange. <laughs> no. Well, there's just so much inspiration. Do you know what? That seems to happen wherever I go. Is that, yeah? An explosion of stuff that follows me around. Oh, no, that's right. Oh, you had, you had a. Oh, no, I didn't mean that. I just had the craft explosion of craft stuff. Like, I can't get anything out and keep tidy for more than five minutes before it's kind of like just yeah. overflowing over the table. Of course. Oh, I just. Let me just show this one because it's that's beautiful, so isn't it? And again, this is the oh, I'll find it right now. It's down here somewhere. I wanted to buy the die because I have that. That's part of the giveaway, but it's underneath. I'm never going to find it. So that's the floral edges. Yes. Um, I love the way that's done in green because you yeah. wouldn't imagine to do all of that in those green shades, but actually, it's really pretty in that green. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Okay. Now we're going to give you the floor so that you can. Do your demo. Oh my God. What are you going to show us so first? We're going to start, of course, we're going to start with the journal. I'm um, <laughs> not <laughs> what else? So, well done. So, I've got a free cup because I want to show you. I want to concentrate on the domes and the tiny nature today. So, we're going to start with the journal. Um, and this is the Eileen Hull journal, which you've got on your website. No, sorry, it's the Eileen Hull notebook. I'm mm. turning into journal, but it is the notebook. So, it's a big sty, um, a big sale die, so it fits for your standard big shop, fits with your big shop class. Um, but it cuts it and it scores it. And you can see I've done it from mount board here, but I've just covered it. So, I've actually covered the mount board first using double sided adhesive and then die cut it all in one because it's much easier to do that than. Um, and cut it separately and then stick it on. So we're just going to fold it there so we've got our spine and we are going to start to decorate it using our tiny nature. So I'm going to start by die cutting this little page that I've cut and we're going to kind of use that in a minute. But I want to die cut the little dome into that. So we're going to pop the glue just squeezed oh, out of there yeah. just a little bit. I'm like, don't get it on. Yeah. The journal. So, so I'm just going to position. So this is the tiny nature this is, that you This is the tiny are, nature and mm -hmm. the circle, I say, the circle that you see comes with that and that's exactly the same size as the dome. Okay, and there's the, those domes. Make sure to check out those domes on the website. Those they're, domes are cool. They're so cool. So we'll stop that die putting the hole in there and then we know where we've got to position it from there. <laughs> nice. Is it okay if I move the we, just yeah. move the die cutting machine more yeah. towards Shall the I move center? This on this side? Yeah, it's, it's making me it's I'm making gonna, me nervous. <laughs> there we go. Yes. 
Sorry, guys. Just Sorry. reshifting a little bit. <laughs> just want to make sure everybody gets a proper view. Yes. So, so now we've got a hole there, and that's where we're going to back our um, little butterfly onto in a second. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some card, and I'm going to pop that behind that little hole in a second. Oh, no, that's the wrong colour. <laughs> so you see now, we've started now to build up the colour. So we'll take the little butterfly, so we'll cut that from some yellow. So you get several different butterflies in that set. Um, I'll just show someone that I want to use, because there's so many of them. First of all, we're going to, so there's the little yellow bit, and then you die cut. It's got so much detail in this, the little dies, there's so much detail. Yeah, so now we're very lovely. It. I cut it again, but this time I'm going to die cut the wings from pink. Um, and then also the tiny little body comes out in grey as well. So we'll pop that That's so cute. And I love the colours you're using, they are very summery. You know what? I love, I mean, the Sizzix is the Sizzix cardstock we use, but I just love the variety of it. I love the summery colours, it's just fresh and it's. Yes. Finally, I'm just going to get a teeny weeny piece of grey here because this is for the bottom of my body, which is really small, but it kind of finishes it off. While you're die cutting that, is it alright if I answer oh, a yes. question? Okay, so on YouTube we have Jenny or or Orchard who's wondering how to enter the competition. So to enter the um, giveaway, you can just answer the question, which of the dies featured would you love to add to your stash and what would you make? And then also for the Sizzix Big Shot machine that we're giving away, you can head to the blog and enter there all weekend long up until Sunday at midnight. We have a Roxy Girl on YouTube saying that she loves the floral wreath as you can mix the colors for all the different cards like autumn, Christmas, spring, and it would look amazing. You could even put a picture in the wreath. Yes. What a great idea. Yes. Actually, I did some wedding projects with that wreath and I put table numbers in the middle of them as well. So if you're doing weddings, oh, yeah. put the numbers in the centre of them. So just adding this detail onto the butterfly. So now he's got pink wings. Just that tiny. So I'm using this really thin nozzle glue. They're perfect um, for these kind of tiny intricate dies. Yeah, those little itty bitties. You are right. Those are very detailed. <laughs> Is it, I'm going to show this on the yeah. first just so everybody can see yeah, it's probably the best. how dainty it is. Look at that. Bitty bitty. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Give that back to you. So, <laughs> we'll pop this butterfly onto this piece of cardstock now. So I'm going to give it some dimension. I'm just going to bend its wings slightly so it doesn't sit flat because obviously you've got the dome so it doesn't need to sit flat because yeah. the dome's going to protect it. And the dome has the adhesive so it's that you can yeah. just so just peel the adhesive. Oh, sorry! That <laughs> <laughs> almost hit me in the face. I did I did point my mind to this place and it could be a walking disaster. <laughs> there we go. So we'll pop the dome down. And then the card just go fits over it. So it's really easy to position. You don't have to worry about getting your card. I'm gonna move that bit out of the way in there. So we'll just add some glue. Now onto this front cover. We'll stick that one down. I'm just going to kind of hold it there for a couple of seconds, just until it grabs. I am sold on these domes. They are incredible. Do you know what? Once you start with them, you can't stop. Everything goes into a dome. <laughs> yeah, all the domes. Put all the domes on everything. <laughs> I'll just trim this green cardstock back so you can't see that. And I'm going to stick this onto my journal. Onto the front, like so. And then I thought to add some detail, we'd use some, some more from the tiny nature. And this is the dandelion, the little dandelion block um, that you get with it. But I'm just going to cut that in exactly the same colour as this. And I'm going to use it almost as a raised edge to give it almost an embossed look. Oh, right. I've actually got, one comes in the set, I've actually got two of them here, just so I can do it quickly to show you. Um, so we'll this. Just pop those out a second and just do a couple more. Oh, I see. 
So it, it will look like it's embossed. Yes. Right. It's going to be exactly the same colour, so it's just going to give it that kind of subtle detail. Is it okay if I show yes, the close up? Yes. I want to show everybody just the dome and how cute that is and how easy it was to make. Look at that, and then you can have a dome on your journal. That's so cute. Put domes everywhere. <laughs> That's so clever. I think everybody's loving the domes. Pooja says that she can't seem to decide on which one is the best <laughs> design and she needs more time to think about it <laughs> before she enters the yeah. way. It's like, yes, yes, take your time thinking about, thinking about it. <laughs> so I'll just pop these down. So I'll just add again some small amount of glow to each of the sandy lion clocks. I'm going to have some of them kind of coming off the edge. I think it's really good. Have some so that they're not all sitting fully on there. Jillian Ashraf says that she would make Christmas cards with the nature and the domes and she would fill it with fake snow. Yes. Yeah, everybody's loving the domes. Grace Shan says the domes are fabulous. They are. So nice. Yeah, we like the domes. They're a winner. Bring these out a little bit. No particular order, just. Do you have any summer summer plans? No, not at the moment. Um, I'm just, you know, I've got four children, and um, plans never go to plan. <laughs> so I've, I've given up on planning anymore. We we just randomly go with it. Yeah. <laughs> I just remember, like when you're. Younger, like summer seems to last doesn't forever. It just, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's so great. Yeah, I'm loving these journals. Whatever it is, will be memory keeping it, that's for sure. Yeah, there we go. We'll just add one on down here as well. So, obviously, if you're doing this at home, you'd have time to just add a bit more glue so that they would be you know, completely flat. Um, what we'll do is we'll just trim off the edges. We'll just there we go. Can I just shift Sorry. your hands no, forward more just right. a little bit? <laughs> Sorry, I'll move it. That's not like <laughs> normally. No, no. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. So we've got some ribbon here. So this is the Sizzix ribbon as well. And I'm just gonna wrap that around here. So we'll take some hot glue. I'll just pop that. Yes, and Sizzix doesn't just have dyes. No. They have papers and papers, cards, tools, ribbons, glitter, tools, felt, felt, fabric, fabric. embossing folders, and um, embossing powders. Sorry, now. Yes. Don't forget to check out that uh, Sizzix sale on the Craft Stash website. Up to twenty-five percent off. Amazing, and those special prices expire on May thirty-first, which is. Coming up, that's next week. Oh, how is May over already? I know. <laughs> yeah, so head to craftstash.co.uk to see those deals. And we'll do the same with some twine here as well. So we'll just stick that down. Ooh, a little texture. So I'm just, just going to grab my um, tool for a second just so we can hold that down a minute to let so you can then cover this if you're trying to have obviously you'd add, add another layer of um, cards to cover all your work up. Yes, definitely. This is coming together really nicely and it's really easy. Huh, like I would say a beginner could do this. Yes, absolutely. Because yeah. really the dies are doing the work, can't they? You know, you've got the dies there. Um, it's just a case of die cutting them. Right. And deciding where you want to put them. I've got a little sentiment here as well. So the sentiment I've just printed off on my computer. Oh, you printed them on craft? Yep, so I've printed nice. them on craft card. I'll just pop those. Julian Ashraf says that she's going over to the sale as soon as you finish. <laughs> yeah, it's
it's worth it to see the discount's worth it to see the design. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna add a couple of gems when I find out where I've put my gems. There we go. Sorry, bear with me. I'm oh yeah, no problem. <laughs> Just want to say hello to Sue Boyd, who is watching, and also Becky Holiday, <laughs> Helen Griffin. Oh no, are you okay? No, I'm fine. <laughs> something fell. What was that? <laughs> is it something that you need? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Shauna can grab that. <laughs> Thank you, Shauna. Could you please grab that? <laughs> something fell. We're okay, guys. Okay. So, <laughs> um, Lynn Clifton says that she's loving the inspiration today. Uh, Natasha Willems says the floral week would be amazing. She's hoping to have an autumnal themed wedding and it would be so oh. useful for that. And she loves the idea of using it for table numbers. Yep. That would work really well. That's the beauty of it. You can have it in any color, can't you? So you can totally change the look of it. So I'm just going to tie a little bit of elastic around here. Um, and you can tie as many as you want around there. You know, depending on how many, right. items, how many booklets you wanted to put in there. So that's, it's just the elastic, little elastic. And then we can pop some of the books. So if you want to make the little pages in there, what I've done, I've just cut a piece of cardstock, 18 centimetres by 12 centimetres, mm -hmm. scored down the 18 centimetres, obviously at nine. So easy. Those are easy dimensions to remember. Too. They are, I know. <laughs> yeah. With well, just a little elastic in there. Just a little elastic. Obviously, if you want to write more books, you just have more elastic. Okay. <laughs> That's so easy. We've got our journal. Um, and on that one, I've just nice. added some little beads just to the side of it. Beautiful. Yeah. Let me show that on the close up. So this is the one. Beautiful, beautiful. And then this is one that she's made previously with more um, little notebooks inside. So just more elastics that she used. And then she added some little beads right here. Isn't that fun? I really like that. That's very inspiring. That makes me want to go home and I know. make some. Nice stuff. gifts for people as well. Yeah. Amazing. Well, continue. You can still enter that giveaway for uh, one of three dye bundles. And to enter that giveaway, all you have to do is answer the question, what, which of the designs that you've seen would you like to add to your stash? And also, um, what would you make with it? So you can leave a comment for us and then we will randomly pick three winners and announce them at the end of the broadcast. And also we have the Sizzix Big Shot up for grabs uh, with the tool caddy and the precision base plate. And you can enter that uh, to win that giveaway on the Craft Stash blog. And I'm sure Laura Tracy is adding, um, adding some links for you to head to the blog. I'm you okay? Just, yeah, I'm just yeah. gonna find my next. Um, Your next demo, oh, let me demo. hold this. I'm, I'm scared of this hot glue gun. <laughs> You're all right. We can skip yeah. to, the, to the next one. Can we do the next one? Yeah. I've got yeah. a feeling um, in the box over there is, the, <laughs> is um, the pack, but we'll do this one first. Yeah. No one. worries. Yeah. If not, we can. Yeah. Um, we can um, improvise. Improvise. It's, that's the word. Yeah. So I thought we'd do this frame there because obviously we're looking at summer memories. Yes. And obviously summer memories are all about scrapbooking, keeping those memories, taking those photographs off the phones. Mm -hmm. and printing them and actually using them because I think we're all guilty of having the photographs. I'll move that one over here. <laughs> Thank you. It's like I'm just worried it's going to fall on our legs. Yeah, we'll move that one over there. And I think we're all guilty of taking all these photographs and we've got all these lovely photographs and then we don't print them off. But today we are going to. So I'll move that one out of the way and what we will do is we'll bring in our blank frame. So what I've done, I've just taken a white frame and I've put hard stock inside of it. So I've, I've removed all the glass as well because I think sometimes when you've got the photographs and things in there, the reflection is it's sometimes look better than a chef. Right. But we're going to use the retro camera. Oh, and this is the uh, Gen Long Fold Along. Yes. So there's that one. So we're going so to fun. Use, yeah, really good fun. So we're going to use it flat though this time because I'm putting on a scrapbook and page. We're going to use it flat. But basically, it's a really clever concept this because when you die cut it, you fold your piece of card in half. So you've got you know just a piece of card fold in half, and then you want to line up the line and that right. so that it's going to cut two. Basically, you know, it's, well they're going to be joined together, but it's going to cut two layers. So just going to make sure that's. 
all lined up. Get a sandwich that in between and run it through. So you, when you hear that noise, you hear quite a big noise of that. Because it's quite a big die, you hear a cracking noise. And um, lots of people panic, but that is just how you know. So we've got this one here now. This is going to give us our base to actually cut out the rest of it in a second. There we go. That's our base. But I'm going to cut another one and I'm going to take two two sections, you'll see it in a minute. It's, it's easier to show you than it is to, <laughs> to try to describe it in words. <laughs> yeah. We'll do exactly the same again, line that one up. This would be great for a fun top of that. Oh yeah. I love that. Oh, yeah. I love that. So yeah, what I, what I love about these fold along cards is that you just have to fold your yeah. card stock in so, half and yeah. then and all the score lines are there for you, so you know exactly. Right. Um, and then this little bit here is what holds that card in, in yeah, the centre. Okay. But it also helps uh, to keep the, the die more affordable because you're not buying a die that makes this. Absolutely. It, like the die is half of the size, yep, so absolutely. you save. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's great. So on this one, I'm just going to trim down because you'll notice it curls slightly. You've got this arch here, and I'm going to keep that on both sides. So I'm going to trim this one in half. And I'm going to trim. Let me just. And this one in half. Tracy Arnold says that she loves that cracking noise. <laughs> I know, it's quite satisfying, isn't it? But you know. If, if you're, um, you know what you're doing with die cutting, you know, you're not scared of it. It's actually really quite a satisfying noise. So I'm just going to move this frame, is that one? Over there, that's the moment. So I'm going to join this one. And the only reason being, when you, if you just cut it off straight, you're left with this flat edge. Mm -hmm. And I put like a kind of rounded edge on both. Right. Um, so I'm just going to stick that on top. And then nice. by the time we have the pattern paper, you're not even going to know that joins there. Right. Gorgeous. Shelly Yaldon says that she takes lots of photos of her girls, uses an app to collage them together with a funky background, and she uses another printing app to order the print so it's really inexpensive and it's all easy because she does it from her phone, and then she just sticks them in a journal and embellishes them. So get those pictures off of your phone. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, it says me, I think I've got something like 14 pounds on there. So I know. Really and then I'm trying to find the one that I want for a project, and I just go through the whole lot to just find that one. Yeah. <laughs> On them project. So what we're going to do is just save time. I'm just going to stick this on here. We're just going to cut around it this time because now we've got a template. Um, easy enough to cut it. Pop that down. I love that heart print paper. <laughs> so, so cute. You can never have too much printing pattern paper either. That's another um, weakness of mine. So we'll just trim around. Wendy, is it Clace or Class? I'm so sorry, Wendy, for um, not saying your surname right. She says that she loves the butterflies and dragonflies, so the tiny nature. Uh, she would absolutely be happy with the tiny, na the tiny nature dies for her cards and decorations, and she would be very, very happy with this. Oh, yeah, make sure to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is answer the question, which of the dies featured would you love to add to your stash, and what would you make? Because this bit's got a bit more detail on it, I'm just going to die cut that one. Um, yeah, it saves me trimming all around. But Which die cutting machine do you have at home that you use like the most? So I've got all of them. <laughs> of, course. of course. Which one's your like um, the one that you? I think the fold away I use more than anything. Me too. <laughs> I really like the fold away. I just yeah. The whole concept of it that it, even if I'm working like this, I fold it up and just move it to the side. Yeah, for a I love it. It's great. Um, let me just show some of more of the chapter, uh, Sizzix chapter one and chapter two dies that we have available. And they're also part of the prize bundle. So we have this one, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then we have textured impressions, embossing folders, 3D embossing folders. Hopefully you can see that. Sorry, Katie. I'm it's like, fine. no, no, it's fine. <laughs> There's uh, the wreath one that everybody's loving. Sophie Galar, these are the crazy cats, I believe. Keep yeah, cute. Great for children's parties. Mm -hmm. 
There's just so many gorgeous designs. And here's the one that we showed earlier, which, where did that card go? The one that was stunning, there it is. Beautiful. There's that one, stunning. Oh, this one too. I've seen you have some of, some of this oh, little, yes. little under the sea. Yeah, I love those. Look how cute that is. I think really, um, really cool. And then this one too. I you have the the Linda Canasi yes, the got little that. <laughs> basket. So cute. Gorgeous. And the great thing about that feels flat to post. Oh, nice. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna add some washi tape now, just to cover the join of the um, paper. Now our camera is starting to take shape. Move that one out of the way. Now, I'm just going to die cut <clears throat> some of the semicircles. So these are what create the lens. I love this. Would you save this? Because I would totally save this little piece. <laughs> You're a saver. I am. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what are you using in my journal? <laughs> Are you going to use it for something? I don't know. No, you, you help me. Yes. Out. Yeah. Hooray. Guys. Let that be. My gift <laughs> Yeah, it's a larger part now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. I'm seriously going to put that in my journal <laughs> today. I'm so excited. I've been trying lately to like do a little bit of journaling every day. Yes. Just like a, just a little tiny bit. And I'm going to glue that in there. Good idea. And say that Katie Skelton gave me the scrap. <laughs> It's a little little thing that maybe yeah, I'm gonna save that right there. <laughs> Everybody's loving the camera, Katie. This is cute. This camera is really cool. It is, and you have another one. I'm gonna pull one from the, behind us because it's so cute. I want to show another way that you can just different colors yeah. that were used. That one's got a shaker element in it as well. Ooh! <gasps> That's amazing! Let me show that on the close up. Shauna, is that alright? Thank you. Look at that shaker. That's so cute. Is this yours? No. Is that your little baby? No, that's not mine. That's not mine. The ones, that's not actually my children. That's so fun. That's gorgeous. Sorry. So, I'm just going to join these two. Now, the reason these are in semicircles is because when it's open like that, obviously, when you make a fold in one, you need it them in half so that the card opens. Right. So clever. It's cleverly thought out. Clever day. We're going to join them together today. Also, I believe that there, uh, aside from the 25% uh, off, I believe there's a five pound discount on machines on select die cutting, Sizzix die cutting machines. So head to the Craft Stash website, find all those deals. And if you are a new customer, you can sign up for a 20% discount wow. if it's your first, first order. So head there. And if you are one of our American viewers, then you can head to craftstash.us as well. So we're just going to cut the flash now. We'll cut the flash from the yellow and we'll cut the other little sections from some pink. Add those on. 21 people on YouTube. That's amazing. Usually it's like 10 or so. They are all loving the shaker. <laughs> So cute. And, and the flower box die as well. I think it's this one. Yeah. They're loving that one. That is cute. And Laura, Mrs. Stationery and Stuff, says, Can I just say, Katie, I love your tattoos? Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so cute. Uh, Let's see. Uh, we've just got these little sections. And do you know what? It's a lot of sections to work with, but the finishing touches what really make these projects when you've you know something like this camera it's like all the little details that really make it yes look um realistic absolutely and i think like if you're if you're receiving this as a gift that's what you appreciate absolutely the most yes. so pop those in there jenny orchard says katie is so talented in everything she does love watch she loves oh, watching you demo you. <laughs> Back. And then I'm going to grab a section of card here. So we've got this 
one here that we're going to stick on there. And in order to do that, I'm just going to get frames. I'm just going to grab my circles. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take them out of it this time, though, rather than knock the whole lot over. So we'll just take some circle dies. So any circles will do that you've got. I'm going to pull another um, yeah. one of our inspirations from back here because I just wanted to show it. It's so, so beautiful. Create some frames. I'm just going to lay a circle inside a circle. So this is another example with the tiny nature, which I wanted to show. So that's, that's without the domes, without the... Um, no domes included, but it's just such a different look, right? That's like the beauty of it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You get such a different look. Yeah, you know, same dyes. Yeah, so there's there's one with the dome in white, but then this one doesn't have the dome. And still gorgeous. Such I think a, that's the fun. Just play around with them. You know, you get them home, you play around with them, you'll find there's so many different things that you can actually do with them. So I'm just going to add this little um, stamp image on and this is just all about memories so I thought if, if it's a scrapbook it's nice to put down a bit of memories and we'll add this one on yeah. how do you print your photos do I yes I like when like where you, yeah like do you do it by an app or do you have no a I just do them literally on my um home computer because I never quite know what I'm going to want until I want it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm one of those people. <laughs> I'm not kind of, um, sometimes I'm doing a project and I think, oh, do you know what, that photograph that we took such and such would look really good. So I just print it off there and then. And then that gives me the ability as well to be able to print it whatever size fits my project. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, unfortunately I'm not really one of these organised people. <laughs> <laughs> That you were gonna have like a system with like <laughs> step one. That's Sharon. So everyone needs someone who's organized as organized could be. That's Sharon. Yeah, Sharon she, Curtis, she was here. Yeah, um, she kind of um, ago. she's like my little PA so she messages, don't forget, you've got to do this. Don't Aww. forget this. She's um because she is super duper organized. And I'm super duper chaotic. <laughs> so there's our camera. This time we're going to take our frame now. Pop that. So that's ready to go in there. And we've got a few little elements here. So what I've done is I've got my photograph here. Oh, it's fun. Oh, sorry. sorry. So that's my little boy. Aww. My little boy. That's such a that's a such a summary photo. Oh, <laughs> yeah. With your sunglasses on. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So we've got Hello Sunshine. So that one's been printed out <clears throat> onto uh, sorry, stamp it from our stamp set. Mm. And then I'm quickly going to die cut on my crowning masks. One of our crowning masks that we've oh, got here. Nice. So, um, these are lovely. I'm just adding a little bit of detail. Sometimes you just you should have some card, but by die cutting into this um, card stock, it just gives it that lovely detail. I wanted to go back and show the um, Tiny Travel Globes by Tim Holtz just one more time because there's a lot of people that kind of show up late and you have to see this. You can't miss these. Nope. <laughs> Look how cute they are. So that's the um, Tiny Travel Globes by Tim Holtz. So there's another example. So it's the little itty bitty dies, but then also you need the domes as well. Get those domes. What a, they're just so fun. You can see their their little domes. You do need those there. Cool. So I'm just popping the bits up here. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. So this is the McCrowney mask. It's one of them. So there's three different dies in this set, all different geometric type shapes. Um, that's nice because that's just like a quick little accent. Like, yes. Boom. Yeah. Die cut it and just put it somewhere. Yeah. It's gonna look perfect. <laughs> Yeah, you know, sometimes you just need something. You don't know what you need, but you just need that something. Just a little something. Is this one of them as well? Like a different set? Um, no, that's the, um, oh, the Tim Holtz there. crochet set. Gorgeous. Tim Holtz has some gorgeous designs. I know, absolutely incredible. Okay, I want all of them. Oh. Yeah, all of them. Actually, I've just been looking at some new ones this morning. I've got to say, Ooh, there's some lucky. nice, there's 
some nice things to come. Um, but today we're focusing on um, summer, and obviously yes. next year will be Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and since we're um, talking about summer, I wanted to show Under the Sea one more time. So this is another one of the die sets. And look at this. They're cute. So aren't they? cute. I really enjoyed making those. Just good fun. So summery. Mm -hmm. Nice. Didn't yeah. mean to interrupt. I just. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, I have to show them these. Yeah, that's I'm just going to empty my And we're going to use some double sided um, burn tape somewhere again. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Shana. Shana's helping us behind the scenes with the knows, cameras. She knows where it is. This is what we'll call gorgeous now. Did you find it? I have to yeah, see it. <laughs> Thanks, Shana. <laughs> She's smiling. Yeah. So, what we'll do, we'll just add a little bit to the camera because I like using this just on certain elements just to make it slightly lift off the page. I think yeah. it gives dimensions. So if you've got some elements that are sitting off the page and some that are directly on the page, right. you get that lovely balance. So we'll put that kind of coming off the corner. Then we can add in our photograph. You're inspiring people. Um, Laura says, I always get inspired after watching these live videos. She says, last week's one made me dust off my alcohol markers. So thank you. Oh, that's pretty good, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you just need, don't you? Just, well, actually, sometimes you just need to remind her that you actually own these things as well. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like, I do. I do own alcohol workers. Aw, everybody's so lovely. They're loving your demos. Thank you. Pop. Our little sentiments. We'll use some 3D foam for that one, so that one sticks there as well. And I've just heat embossed that as well. So I've got, um, stamped it in black and heat embossed it with some clear embossing ink. Mm. Shine. This one here is this the stamp or a so that's a stamp. Yeah. Oh, okay, stamp as well that I've used. Well, because the one that you used on your journaling die, you said was yeah, that was you just printed. printed off on the computer. Yeah, that's cool because I think people forget like if you print something, whether it's like you know you type up a sentiment mm -hmm. or you get like a free digital download yes. from somewhere, you can print it on craft. Yes, or yeah. like vellum and printable Actually, vellum. Yeah, don't only think you can print it on you know plain white card. You can print it on so many different things. Yeah, and if you happen to join us late, uh, wait for the live to be over and then re-watch re re it so you can see this gorgeous um, little journal that Katie made for us earlier. So we'll just pop a couple of little gems again, just to give it that finishing touch. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, so that just gives you a little... Gorgeous! And that's it. Amazing! I love that. But I think it's nice putting your scrapbook layouts into frames sometimes. Yeah. And actually using them. Oh, I know. That's such a great idea because you could switch them out. Yeah. Yeah. Like for Christmas. Yeah, you could. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you could put it up at Christmas and remind you how nice summer is. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Awesome. Thank you so much, Katie. Um, I don't think we're gonna have time for that third demo. No. But that's all right, but um, I will take a photograph of it and put it on your Facebook. Okay. People can see what it is. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, let's see if we have our winners just yet. We do. Hooray! Okay. Well, before we announce our winners, I just want to remind everyone. So yeah, head to the blog and you can.